recording. Okay, I'm recording, so I'll do the intro and then I'll welcome you, okay? Oh, how do I pronounce your surname again? I always get it wrong. Kaju. Kaju. Ka yeah. and Ju, like Ju. Yeah. the Ju. I thought that was it. I just yeah. wanted to double check. Cool. Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the summit session today. I have got a really fantastic guest today. We've got uh, we've got Holly Kaju today, and she is talking all about images. She is going to be giving us a lot of great information. She's got a slide presentation to share with us because what we are finding is that there are so many merchants out there who want to work with great influencers but don't have the right setup to begin with before working with influencers. So that's why I wanted to get Holly on today. She has got a lot of experience. She owns a couple of apps that are all about images. So if Holly doesn't know about images, then no one knows about images. So she's definitely the queen of images of when it comes to Shopify stores. So let's get uh, Holly on the session today. Let's say hello and get started into asking her some great questions. So hi, Holly, how are you today? Hi, I'm well, thanks. Thanks for having me. Wonderful. We do have a little bit of a delay, so we're just going to deal with that. But um, Holly, how about you tell us a little bit about you and what you do? I know we're going to get stuck into the presentation in a second, but um, tell us a little bit about how you started Pixie. Yeah, so back in about 2012, 2013, I was building Shopify stores for retailers in Australia. And I realized that their biggest problem was their product images and their content that they were giving me. It wasn't up to scratch, wasn't up to standard. And it was very time consuming to edit photos and make them look good. So I built an app, which is Pixie today, to help um, all merchants optimize and fix their photos within 24 hours. We will edit product images and return them to the merchant or return them to their store and they look beautiful they're on a white background and they're all consistent and the reason for that is that we realized it was increasing the sales of the business but also helping them to save time and resources that they didn't have to edit them in-house they could just have them done straight away for a low cost Fantastic. And I think that um, what I love, uh, we've had a lot of people on the sessions that I've been already doing the recordings and a lot of people talk about the different types of images. And I think that where you come from is having those real product images, having that perfect quality product images. And then the great thing is, is having an influencer create something completely different, a lifestyle image or a creative image, which is something different again so you've got those different types of images and I think that you're going to explain more about the importance of having like different types of images and how they um, help a merchant with selling what whatever they're selling yeah I think it's really important to have different types of images because essentially with an online store you need to recreate what a shopper would do do in a store so they're at home they're on their phone they're looking at a two-dimensional flat product you want to use images both your own and influence images to show different shots yeah it's really great advice and um, I know in your presentation you'll go into more details and that's um, fine but I just wanted you to sort of give us a little bit of statistics a little bit of information about actually why images are so important before going forward to an influencer. I think that there's a lot of merchants that they sort of think that getting an influencer will solve their issue of not having images. So can you give us a bit of information of why they should actually think about their images on their website before they work with the influencers? You need to have um, your own images first because influencers don't work with every brand. They select which types of brands, mm -hmm. especially the ones who are super they have a range of choice and you need to think about it the influencer essentially is like an art director or a brand director and if they put their work with your work and your work isn't the same standard or what they perceive as the same standard then they're going to say that they don't want to work with you yeah that's so true and we see it and you see it all the time but it's great that you can actually let people know exactly how important it is and do you have any um examples of any stores that you can think of i'm putting you on the spot for this but do you have any examples of stores that you've seen that started off without great images and tried to work with influencers or um, any sort of examples that you can give us um i haven't seen i mean in terms of our customers we don't edit influence images but what i have seen who's done it really well and i mentioned this in um 
in the presentation is movement watchers. Mm. They use their own images. They have even down to the pack of their images. Plus, they use influence images. Yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> It's fantastic. And everyone that's watching this now, um, this is on day one. So um, this is one of the first sessions that you're watching. But as you watch all the other sessions, you'll come across Chase and his brand. I've inter interviewed some of the actual merchants and his brand that is um, all about sunglasses. So you're talking, Holly, about uh, watches. Chase is talking about um, he's got br Blender's eyewear. And he talks exactly on that point as well of the importance of his images helping create um, a better platform for his influencer Im images. So, you know, a lot of these big brands like Movement Watches is just one of those examples of a fantastic brand doing it really, really well, both on their own website and when it comes to influencer marketing as well. So we've got a little bit of a delay there, but that's okay. I'll cut that out. Okay, so Holly, I think that is there anything else that you want to say before we get into your presentation or should we just get straight into it? I think it'd be great to get into it, but I do think it's really important that it, our images are one thing that you do focus on. There's something that you can use not just for um, your online store, but you can use them in your email marketing and your ads and any other marketing, whether that's print or digital. So I think it's something that you should focus on when creating your online store. Yeah, and I'll just say, because um, I know today we're talking more from the influencer perspective and you are doing a presentation, which is fantastic. You also did a podcast with me for my podcast, Winning with Shopify. I will put a link underneath this because I think that, you know, I think I, you're covering a lot today, but I think that there was a lot in that uh, podcast interview as well. And I think that both of us can honestly say that anyone watching this who does not think that images are the number one most important thing on their website, then they don't understand what they're doing because that is the first thing. If someone lands on a website, sees bad images, they're not staying. You've lost them. You've got three seconds to keep them and images are the first thing. I don't know if you're going to say anything or not, because I don't know if I'm waiting for you to, like, if there's a delay or. <laughs> this is such a weird. I'll just answer when you ask me a question, but if I don't see any question, if I don't hear a question. I'm... <laughs> no, it's fine. It's just really funny because of the delay. It's like, it's not a normal interaction conversation. <laughs> and it's like really awkward. <laughs> But it's fine. Um, okay, Holly, well, what we'll do is we'll get straight into the presentation and we'll let everyone know exactly what it's, um, what the importance is of images because I think your presentation visually shows all of that, which is very helpful. So let's get straight into it. Great. Okay. So I'll just go now that we're coming back to it and... Um, I'll ask you've got any final words, yeah? And what is there anything you want me to cover on? Yeah. No, because I didn't really watch it, but I know that like I did watch the first few minutes. I know that you cover a lot. So I don't unless there's some particular question that you think I should ask you, because really the main thing that I wanted to focus on with you was the importance of images, like just touching on how important images are. Um, because that's more of what the Influencer Summit is, is just letting people know the importance of images. So do you go into detail? Um, about, sorry. There you go. I was going to say, do you go into detail about your app? I'll like, I'll, we'll cut back to now. I'll just say, can you tell us more about your app? How people can use it? Yeah, or? I don't, I don't uh, the app. It's on that intro paragraph that I talk okay. about the app. Um, I mean, the other thing that I'd be happy to talk about is um, briefly, not a lot, but creating that sort of list of influences and making sure that you don't just go for the top ones, but going for other ones to make sure that your images align, like your brand aligns with another influencer. And just because one who has half a million says no, um, you can always go to another one who may have more of a similar 
uh, brand image, or I'm happy to talk about the app. Um, we'll do both. <clears throat> yeah, whatever you 